like Kuno's dad? Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about books. Oh my god, I told you that shit is lame! Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison! She sounds like she's about to cry, out of disappointment at Kuno's newfound lameness. Deny everything, Kuno! You need to lawyer up! Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. Lame. That rings some bells. Could this be connected to Night City? A.K.A. The City of Rage. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Sounds like art. Oh god, Kuno, no! It's gonna happen now! They're gonna make you lame! Stop it, see? No one's gonna make anyone lame. Kuno's got this under control. There's definitely something going on here. You should check out Kuno's shack. The one with the pig's head. Kuno doesn't fucking care! All around you, the hisses and chirps of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud, dotted with little holes for windows. Like skyscrapers, spires of dirt and sand rising. Accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants? Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case. Of the locusts. For the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. Yes, I feel we are nearing a real breakthrough. If anything, the presence of the locust points to the opposite. The Phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. It was Kuno. The Phasmid doesn't exist. But what do I know? Use your powers of deduction. You knew the magic bug was nowhere near here. The Phasmid is impairing your judgment. I'll let you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. like Kuno's dad? Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, Kuno.
Kuro took the books, so what? So it wasn't the Phasmid. A wave of disappointment washes over you. It's not Bugtown. It's the city of locusts. Locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Stop! Locusts coming down like a shadow. This must be the night city he mentioned when you asked him where he's been. Yeah, Locust City. City of rage. City of lights. There's a tug of war over the name of his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. The girl forces herself to watch again, the corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. Kuno, the pig wants to help you! Oh, that's how lame it is! Please just don't say you're... An artist? Maybe I am an artist. You hear that, everyone? I'm a fucking artist now. Totally lame in, like, three seconds. Don't let him, Kuno. Yo, fuck you, see? Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free? Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a f Kuno doesn't give a shit. Oh, don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. So that's what this is about. Without a word, she disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. Use this momentary confusion to take control of the situation. I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. C was right. The girl's face appears again, above the fence. Just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. It don't mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit. Build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck. Pig, you really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. Kuno's gonna let the fucking locusts die. The fuck are they trying to catch anyway? With the traps? Huh. Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. There's silence between the two children. They're not saying anything to each other, nor looking in each other's direction. 